Hello, welcome back. This is Country 1913, and we are let's play Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we made it through the Desert of Death, and I am just. This is just a brief moment before we go and me do my thing. But look at this! I found them gold egg guys! And they are turning. Nice. I was gonna say they are turning me into eggs. Which is not cool. But yeah, let's try to beat these a-holes. Hmm. And apparently Ryu as an egg cannot attack. Ah. Oh well. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna continue with the stuff that I was gonna do. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, I've leveled up quite a bit, but we'll go through that anyways. Anyways, I've walked seven nights east from the factory, and now here we have a battle, which I will show why not. Let's uh, show how strong my characters are getting. Super strong. Look at that power by Gar and Ryu. And even Ray's getting in on the action. Anyways, yeah, I've leveled up a couple levels. Hopefully I'll have enough when I go to Landon. And we get the speed boost. Yay! So, yeah, I'm probably going to equip those on Ryu. But yeah, they plus 10 your speed. Let's get the hell out of here. And now I'm done. But let me show you something really quick. Before we head back. And then I go to the uh, Oasis. As you can see, everyone, Gar is pretty speechless. There's nothing here, we should turn back. And I don't want to say this, but are we lost? And then Momo, she's beat. And so uh, let's talk to the Radic and return to base camp. And don't worry, I'm not going to kill you. Whoa, I can return to the Oasis? Hell yeah, let's return to the Oasis. Sweet, that's going to save me some time. I thought I had to go back and forth. Oh, man. I didn't have to go all the way back to the factory. Oh, well. Well, we got the speed boots. Now I'm going to walk seven days west of the Oasis and get me some death claws for Pico. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Yes, let's, let's go into the desert. Now, we're going to head west. Alright, so find the North Star. As you can see, that's the North Star. Now, one, two, three, four. West. Now, walk. And walk. Anyways, yeah. I messed that. No, no, we're, we're alright. But anyways, here's what everyone will say when, when you just talk to them after whatever. Yeah, I've had enough of it too, but I want to get this last thing and then I'm never going to come here again. True. I guess you got a point. Break camp now. I want it now. Anyways, I'm going to walk seven nights west. Back to the North Star. Seven nights west and then um, we uh, will show you the death claw, so I'll be back. All right, I am back. As you can see, I've leveled up quite a bit again. I want a little bit more, and look at these stats, huh? Everyone's pretty powerful and pretty speedy. Thank you, Landon. Anyways, we have traveled west from the Oasis for seven nights. And there's a treasure. And we're gonna get it as soon as I finish murdering these things. Yay, dead. Yeah, I've leveled Gar up nine levels, so we can learn all land and things. But look at that, we got Death Claws, yay! And we're done with the Desert of Death forever, and ever and ever. Oh yeah. I bet you've never seen an LP or do the entire Desert of Death. I am a patient man. 
Either that or I have a lot of free time, and it's probably a little bit of both. Anyways, we're done with the Desert of Death. So let's get the hell out of here, and I'm actually going to meet you back in Dragoneer, Dragoneer, where I can show you all the uh, abilities that we learned from Landon. Alright, we are back, and let me show you the abilities that we learned from um, Landon. Basically, Mind's Eye, which is a pretty good ability. It raises your accuracy, which is pretty good. I'll probably end up giving that to Momo. I learned Holy Strike, which is a holy attack versus one enemy. And Aura, which is a holy attack with one's power times two. Now, if sadly, if Gar had more AP, he could use the hell out of that, but he doesn't have a lot of AP. And then I learned Ward of Life, which raises defense and counterattack. So those are the abilities by the Dragon God, Landon. So now, we're gonna screw around a little bit more in this episode. I think I'm gonna finish off fishing, hopefully in this episode or the next episode. And then I am going to, uh, then we'll head to the final area. So, yeah, I'll just meet you back at, uh, the rune of mine, or near, near the northern checkpoint. Okay, we're back, and um, I'm gonna put Pika on my group so I can see how well those death claws work. Yeah, so now everyone's around level 40. I'll probably level up Nina and Pico a little bit more. Uh, actually, they're probably fine for the remainder of the game. But anyways, let's see what those death claws are, will do. Um, ooh, very nice. Chance of instant kill. That's very nice. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go catch some fish. Also, we've learned from all the masters in the game. So, that's pretty sweet. Now, that's not all the abilities that you can learn in the game. I don't plan on doing that, but, yeah. Anyways, this is the fishing spot. We're going to start first and collect... The last fish, which is a, I think I already told you, it's a, Good lady. it's a brandy, so let's equip the best rod in the game, because this one goes really far, and a brandy, they like frogs, baby frogs, and fat frogs, so let's use a frog. And throw this junk really, really, really far. Come on. I wonder if that's the fish right there. The one that's in the deep. Oh man. Anyways, I'll be right back. Alright. We're back in the fairy village. And, uh, yeah, I didn't catch any fish yet. Whoops. Look at all these... Look at all these people that were born. Mr. Q, huh? Increased village size, made new room, bulk about merchandise. Cool. So let's check it out. Are you Vogel? I got none but the best. Now you still got garbage. The Vogel must be in here. Are you Vogel? Oh, you got the same stuff. Oh, you can buy a creep cape. A crepe cape or whatever the hell it is. And look, there's more room up here for more rooms. Isn't that nice? We almost have all the rooms filled. But we're pretty pretty end of the, pretty close to the end of the game. Actually, I'm probably gonna show more fairy village stuff like as a bonus. Whoops, I'm sorry, fairy. 
I sliced you in half. Anyways, uh, now we got a crap ton of berries. So now we can actually start having them think of culture and start doing other things. Alright, so we got to This one's going there. This one is going here. Let's put her here. This one doing that. This one can do either, I guess. Let's hunt. Oh, look, Sloth. Sloth's a thinker. And, yeah, you're a thinker, too. And let's make you a scholar. You think of culture. So we can be more cultured. There we go. I should probably have more people building and clearing, but I think, uh... Yeah, I think we're all cool here. So there we go. More fairiness. Anyways, um... I couldn't catch that brandy. I thought that the... For some reason I could swear that the... That the, uh, spanner was... The, it's the strongest rod can pull up any fish. That's what the... That's what the thing says. But the thing is, I thought it had really good range. But I guess the angling rod, which you can get in the fairy village, has the best range. So you gotta upgrade your fairy village. So I'm gonna actually try to find out how to do that, and I'll be right back. Alright. So, it looks like I... Uh, well... Seems like I might have figured out what the deal is. With, uh... With how to get this, uh... Get this going here. To get the angling rod, you need a merchant. And you know what? I don't even care about what you're doing. I need you to be a merchant, I need you handyman, and I need you speed. And now basically, we just gotta wait until... Welcome, I've got nothing but the best. Now she'll probably only sell healing herbs or berries. Anyways, eventually she'll sell berries, beef jerky, clothing. Flame Prism, Napalm, Bell Collar, Angling Rod, Belladonna, Royal Dagger, and Holy Mantle. So yeah, we just gotta... Now it's just the old waiting game. What the hell are you guys doing? I'm keeping the grounds in shape. It's really hard work. Oh, that's what you're doing. Alright, well... I guess we can't go fishing yet. May I will continue to check periodically back at the Anyways, I guess that means that I really can't do any more fishing at the moment. Um, now another way that you can get, uh, another way that you can get, um, what the hell is it, certain things is, uh, yeah, I was really hoping to start doing this fishing thing. I could swear the angling rod was, uh, was good, but I guess it's just as good as the little ox rod. Anyways, um, yeah, the, if you get the the, the title f the fish for your uh, for your fishing thing, like that means you got to fish like a whole bunch. If you do actually do that, um, you'll actually get the actually the, the best rod in the game. It's called uh, I think it's called like the fish or something like that. And uh, yeah, it'll get you. But you need to catch basically all the. Oh, it's called the Master's Rod. Basically, you gotta catch all the fish in order to do that. But you gotta catch like you gotta catch like really good fish too. It's got they gotta be they gotta be long fish. They gotta be they, you know. Sometimes you get you get better fish than others. Like when you're fishing, like say you got one octopus that's like 18 inches long, and you got one that's like 25. The one that's 25 is gonna be more points. So let's go to the container yard and begin looking into the last area. You know what, I'll probably end up having to do that fishing stuff as like maybe a bonus episode. Because I do have uh, maybe one or two, maybe three bonus episodes for um, the various uh, dragon transformations, fishing, all kinds of cool stuff. What do we have here? Just a tank pot. You know, in fairy village stuff. So yeah, around level 40 is probably where you want to be to beat this game. I mean, you could probably be a lot lower, but I like 40-ish. 
Anyways, um, I want to change my group to uh, Ray and Momo. They're probably going to be most useful in this last area. And um, also, what was I going to say? Yeah, um, you can. While you're in this last area, you can actually like change party members, so don't worry about it. So let's go into the machine that is cities or whatever. The city that is the made of machines and stuff. And let me just change my tactics. Okay, attack is fine. Whoa, it's like a mini mart here. All fancy, huh? I don't think you can get attacked over here. If I'm not mistaken, so we'll explore this place. But yeah, listen to this music, huh? This is like... This is like, whoa, the machine. And look, we can buy the same belt thingies here if we wanted to. Which is pretty cool. And over here, there's nothing. You know, back when Manilow's was running the shops, they actually, like, friggin' cared about their customers and stuff. So now we can purchase a Seeking Sword, and if you don't have the Royal Blade, this is a pretty good uh, piece of equipment. Blessed Staff, the Gun Gear, I think they spelled that wrong. Bra brass Claws, Atomic Bomb, huh? Holy moly, look at that power. Hell yeah, we'll buy it. How come Ray doesn't have an atomic bomb? But Ray can't equip that. That's messed up. Ray doesn't get any new equipment. Anyways, you got this thing. I think I'm gonna buy him this instead. I'm gonna buy one for Momo. How much does it bring down our speed? Whoops. Yeah, it brings it down three, it's not that bad. Mind shield raises intelligence and resists flame. Wait, how much does it bring up? Oh, it brings up defense pretty good. So let's just buy another one. And I'll just, oh, 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 oh. I see what happens here. It's bringing down my attack power because I have spike gauntlets. Well, so screw that. We're keeping spike gauntlets on. Mm. And yeah, we'll have. Mm. Is it worth all that to go down? Nah, she needs intelligence. Screw it. I'll give it to Gar or someone. I'll probably re-equip it. I'm probably just gonna explore this one city, this one part, and then. And then that's it. Hey, look, they got a pinball machine here. This place is pretty advanced. Like, jeez. Like, really advanced. Opening these doors here. And we get protein. I still need to use those things. And this looks suspicious, doesn't it? No oh, doubt. Wow. So who the hell lives here? Machines, just machines, jeez. But yeah, what I'm probably gonna do in between episodes is I'll uh oh yeah, I was in are you in here? What I'll probably do in between episodes is purchase uh, any equipment that I want for uh for the heroes. And then I'll be that look at this place, huh? We got ourselves like a grocery store. Do people, like, live here? I feel like I'm in the movie I Am Legend. Jeez. There's no one around. Are we the last surviving people in the world? What the hell? This thing looks like honey. What the friggity diggity? Wait a minute. Let me finish exploring before. So, the, so there's something like honey that lives here? Jeez. Alright, so that's about it this way. Let's check. 
this way? Nothing. And look at this, now we're in like a highway? Hmm. Anyways, you know what? We'll have to continue exploring this area in the next episode. I've been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.